just a click away. It demands that we bring our schools and libraries into the 21st century. We're born with a natural curiosity, and we have an open mind. We want to learn things. We want to learn how to feel things and what they do to our senses. Just having technology in a classroom doesn't guarantee that it's going to be a good experience for students or that the teaching will actually be effective. But it's the combination of a committed, dedicated, creative teacher with that technology that I just think where we can go probably knows no limits. Children today literally have the world at their fingertips, and teachers are learning to adapt by re-envisioning the role of technology in their classrooms. I actually reached out to Dr. Rumlis Durant from TPS, and I wanted to meet with him and see where the students who are in fifth and sixth grade now, what kind of technology are they utilizing in the classroom? Because we want the university to be positioned uh, in a place when those students come to university that they're experiencing, if not better technology, here at the University of Toledo. In order to prepare students for their progression from grade school to high school to college and into the workplace, they need to be acquainted through a technology-infused learning environment that will prepare them for our technology-infused world. I like using technology because it's fun and teaches you stuff. At my house, I have a computer, a laptop, and a tablet. We've been using the Chromebooks since the beginning of the year. And the best part about them is that you don't know you're learning, but you really are. And so we're going to be using these pieces of paper, and every person's little box has a different shape. And that different shape is assigned to your name. So when I use my phone, I open up the app and it'll show the question and I can scan the classroom and it scans every person's box and it'll tell us what your name is and what your answer was and we can see the graph of it. As early as preschool and kindergarten and into grade school, students are exposed to innovative, active learning techniques that help to support their academic growth. They use computers or are given tablets offering interactive storybooks, digital drawing tools, and simple games to advance their skills in reading, writing, math, and science. When students progress from grade school to high school, they are given digital textbooks, video study aids, and subject-based learning applications that all aim to prepare them for their upcoming college and workplace environments. So we're working with NASA to help redesign the wheels on the current Mars rover. Uh, we know some flaws in there that they brought to us, so we've been working with them on how to redesign them so they'll work better and more efficiently. Technologies affect our learning in a lot of ways here especially. I've programmed with the Arduino Uno platform for developing our crawler that we're using for testing out our wheels. So all six of our traditional comprehensive high schools in Toledo are involved with this program with a, a classroom laboratory in each building with uh, identical technology so you can teach or learn from any one of our schools. Do too much, but an opening statement establishing your innocence under these charges. The, the easiest way to describe what we're doing here is teaching by FaceTime except really big. <laughs> At the uh, Natural Science Technology Center, we have four curriculums. We do animal management, we have urban agriculture, uh, floriculture, and uh, design, and we also have uh, landscape and lawn and turf management, more or less. Uh, my program, Urban Agriculture, teaches low-impact farming practices that uh, affect the community in a positive way, both economically and environmentally. We're a three-year technical program where the students graduate with a airframe and power plant rating issued by the Federal Aviation Administration. 
As an adult, to obtain your airframe and power plant rating, it would cost you anywhere from fifty to eighty thousand dollars, and take you approximately two years of your life to do. Our students are graduating high school with that airframe and power plant certificate. And the greatest part about it is it, it, there's no burden on them, their parents. It's 100% funded and paid for by the state. Once students transition from high school to college and beyond, knowledge of technology is almost a necessity, and the preparation efforts that educators put forth are the essential building blocks for student success in these environments. When the University Teaching Center was founded, really just a couple years ago, one of its primary focuses was on helping faculty develop ways to use technology in the classroom to increase student activity in the classroom and student engagement. And the University Teaching Center has done this by showcasing new technologies, um, holding training sessions for faculty, um, demonstrations, actually working with them to help them adopt these new technologies. I think leveraging technology in the classroom is really great because this generation needs to be more engaged with the content and this is an avenue to do that. And then faculty seem to really be embracing it as well because they see after they do that, it really shows that the students were participating more, were engaged more, and they are even having better success rates in their courses. So the lecture tools has the question selection already implemented within it, so I can have slides of content and then I have a few questions and then students right there click on their answers and the results, I show up in front of the class. Today, these students are digital natives. When at a very young age, they have tablets, they have cell phones, they have laptops at the very fingertips. When I was going to school, we didn't have those things. Now we need to begin to adapt how we do things to reach out to these students. We need to meet the students where they're at. The final project in the class that I had the students work on is actually a virtual role play. And we use the app GoToMeeting to help the students virtually um, practice meeting in one state or another with their boss. So the project actually calls for the student to act as a sales rep for a financial institution. I think one of the most exciting uses of technology in the classroom is that of simulation, where students no longer have to wait until they're out in the world to see whether or not they have a good grasp of knowledge of, and skills, but they can actually try to apply this knowledge while they're still learning and they can get feedback through their simulated experiences that will serve to strengthen their understanding of whatever phenomenon it is they're studying. So here at the Sim Center, we actually have a robotic surgery simulator, allowing our students hands-on experience prior to going into the operating room. And it's also helped some students determine what they want to do for the rest of their lives. I think this class specifically has helped immensely because uh, getting away from the computer is another thing, but is the fact that I'm still utilizing the technologies that I'm still developing and the skill sets that I'm trying to learn and then taking those into three-dimensional form. So right now there's four classes. We're all separately working on different components to make an educational pilot for WGTE here in town. Um, the different courses, there's a motion graphics course, which is my class. There's a, a class doing puppetry. So they're building the puppets and they'll be performing the puppets. There's um, a short form documentary class that's also doing some uh, music video components. And then there is uh, the, the production, the television production. In today's world, technology impacts almost every aspect of our lives. We live in an age of accelerating change and there is no universal way to learn. Technology alone is not what is important, it's how it's used. I'd like more classes to use technology because it's fun and I want more kids to have the experience that I did. 